So the one that the students have done today is here. Um, and you'll see that I've, I've broken down the sections. And what we have in, in this column here is the question itself, the number of marks it's worth, and then we have the answer in a, in a third column. What I'm trying to include in each of them is some revisiting of previously learned information, especially when it hasn't been particularly well learned. Yeah. So I'm trying to go back and the first few questions of each test that comes will be a recap on the stuff that wasn't learned very well yeah. last time. So you've put those into an Excel file. This is just in, um, it's actually on Google Drive, but yeah. it's the same as an Excel spreadsheet. So what I then do is I take that information and I drop it into um, an Excel spreadsheet. So, and you can see here, this, this is just my Brainscape uploads. Right. And there's one there called WMM and Forgetting. And you have to save this as a CSV file. So okay. the first column is the 17 knowledge questions. So I haven't put on here the higher order questions, just the knowledge questions. Right. And down here in this column is the answers. So right. that's, that's actually one column. Um, so all of the answers to those questions um, are in the second column. And that's it, just two, yeah. two very simple columns. And then what you do is you go to Brainscape which is www.brainscape.com. And you, you can register and sign up, okay. which is just via an email address. Um, I've already got one. So there's my email address and password. And you can see here, here are previous ones that I've done for when I taught yeah. um, A2 and AS Psychology of Sport. But now I'm teaching um, A-level psychology. So I have here psychology basics. There's the first assessment test. Um, there's 15 cards in that assessment, but I want to create a new one. Now, there's two ways of doing this. I can either go to here and create a deck, um, give the deck a name, and it gives me a very simple, uh, I'll just put test in. And then it asks me to add some cards, and I get a very simple question in this box, right. answer in this box. Okay. I can have a more complicated ones in an advanced editor where I can put um, a question in and then I can actually add further information like images, video files, okay. so on and so forth. But I don't do that. And the reason I don't do it is not that I can't do it. I yeah. just want to make something so simple and so quick that the kids have got the, yeah, the access to the key information. So the other option is to import that spreadsheet that I just showed you, or that CSV file. Yes. So when you're in Excel, you have to save as a .csv file. And I'm going to import that file, and it asks me which one I want, so I'm going to select it. There it is number two, right. working memory model and forgetting. Open it up, and you can see that it's appeared down here now. Lovely. And then I'll just click on import these cards. So can I just recap at this stage? Yeah. You didn't set it up as cards, you just set it up as one column I just questions, set up, yep. one column answers, yep. but Brainscape is going to turn that into cards. Yes. Lovely. So I'm just putting a, a deck objective here to understand the basics of the working memory. Uh, ask me to select the file again. There it is. Open it up. Import the cards. And you'll then see the working memory model one here. So number two, working memory model I'm forgetting. And what you can do then is you can click on it to edit it. You have some further options here in the settings where you can edit individual cards. Uh, you can review the cards that you've done. You can export them to a CSV as well, which okay. is interesting if you want to edit. Um, but if I just click on study, it will essentially open up So now those we're cards. seeing what the students yeah. will see. So, so now we're studying um, live, if you like. Yeah. And the question there is, which was in that first column, says what do we mean by the term encoding? And what the student does here is try and work out the answer to that in their head. Right. So um, encoding refers to how we store information in memory. Okay. That's, that's the answer. It's a very simple definition. So I can now reveal the answer. And it says encoding refers to how we store information in memory. I, I remember that almost word for word, yeah. which is a surprise. Um, so what it does now is you've got this color coding in the bottom for self-assessment. Um, from how well did you remember this? One, not at all, all the way up through to five perfectly. Now, mine was a virtual perfect uh, 
recognition of that. So I'm going to click on number five. And what that does is it now stores that information over here as blue, right. which is perfectly remembered.